This one's pretty jingly. Hello witches and welcome to the April unboxing of the witch casket. I'm really excited to have you here and if you're new thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join our growing spiritual community. It's just arrived and I have no idea what the theme is and it's a little bit jingly so let's get started. <music> or you're new to the witch casket then welcome the witch casket is a witchcraft subscription run by a mother and daughter duo which is so cool they're both super witchy and super wise and just love all the work that they do they also plant loads of trees when you subscribe to them not loads but like one per person which is really cool so each month you receive your box and inside is usually between 10 to 14 items which i think is really good for the money i think it's about 29 pounds a month which is fantastic each month you get tea bags incense a scroll with loads of information on which is just beautiful if you want to frame that definitely saving mine to do that an art print a crystal a spell and then loads of other extra items as well which is really cool there's always a really cool theme they also have an exclusive web shop which you get access to when you sign up to the boxes and that has past items in there but it also has different items as well which is really cool and they also have now enchanting extras which is emailed to you every month which I haven't actually seen the email yet so probably that's just me I have not been online that much I have not seen any spoilers or anything for this video but I was thinking to myself I wonder if they'll do another elements box because we haven't had one for a while so that could be either earth or air honestly I'm not sure I could be completely wrong it might be something totally different <laughs> I'm usually wrong so <laughs> let's just dive in and see what we've got <gasps> yes <laughs> it is an air element box oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh, I'm very excited about this because if you guys don't already know and if you couldn't guess I am an air sign I am very excited to see what they've put in this okay let's start with our print which is really cute actually I think they're designing all of their prints in house now so we have this gorgeous image of this beautiful woman she looks very witchy I love that she's got a little pentacle bracelet on and she is just blowing away and exhaling does that make sense I don't know you get the point she's blowing out she's blowing out I don't know if I should say that <laughs> she's exhaling and connecting with the element of the air with the leaves and the petals and things so that's cute I quite like that this is obviously landscape rather than we get quite a few portrait ones so that could be quite nice if you're looking for something a little bit different to add to your altar or just a place around your house I think that's cute okay the next thing we have oh interesting everything's hidden under the squishies okay we have an enchanting book of elements by Deb an overview of the elements of earth air fire water and spirit learn how to represent and work with each element to enhance your magical practice so that's really cute look at that we do get some really nice books actually that they work really hard on oh look at that that's lovely obviously i'll do a close-up for you guys enchanting book of elements so it talks about how to represent or connect with the elements going through each of them and then it's got a little bit of information about each one which i think is a really nice idea so we obviously still have just the earth box left then which i'm kind of sad about because these have been some really amazing boxes and then that is the back which is lovely they do put so much effort in and to be honest that's really nice quality it's a really good thick book which is lovely i've got my other ones on my bookshelf so i'll probably add that once i've had a read okay the spell for the month wishing powder kit contains everything you need to cast a magical wishing spell so let's have a little look i've got everything okay so we always get our little bag of herbs oh is that that looks like chia seeds that can't be chia seeds surely poppy seeds <sighs> why am i so useless Okay, wishing powder kit. You will need peppermint, poppy seeds, and dandelion leaf. Grind the ingredients together until you have a fine powder. Oh, this is fun. Take the powder outdoors and hold it in your hands as you state your wish and set your intention. Blow the powder into the air, which is what she was doing at the beginning in that art print, and state the following. Element of air, I give my wish of thee as it, I will it, so mote it be. So that's the little thing. And then on the back, obviously, we have the element, which is really cute. Oh, I do love peppermint. Oh, that's so much fun. I'm pretty sure I've got a pestle and mortar. Somewhere. okay let me just move all of these squishies what have i touched now tea elemental tea blend for air lemongrass and peppermint oh i really hate lemongrass hmm okay connect with the element of air with the magical blend of lemongrass and peppermint brew with intent stir clockwise and affirm i invoke the element of air i am imaginative i am inspired i have the power to make my wishes come true oh I absolutely can't stand lemongrass. I love peppermint. I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> I'm always willing to try, you know, but unfortunately, yeah, it's just not a flavor I like. I thought I could hear some bells. Okay, oh, that's kind of cute actually. Wait a minute, let me just, that's a bit stuck. 
a hanging chime. Hang on, let me move the tag out of the way. So we've got the symbol for air in the shape of it and then that's really cute. It says, represent the element of air with this bewitching, I've got a hair in my eye. With this bewitching hanging chime, both decorative and protective, bells have been long used to keep stagnant energies at bay. That's so cute. I actually really like that. I'm not, yeah, that's cute. That would look so cute in like a window or a doorway. That would be really nice for like ringing in and out any, yeah, I like that. That's adorable. Okay, let me just move some more squishies. What's this? Oh, that's the pin. All right, then let's go with the, oh no, oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, no, sorry, spoiling myself there. Okay, so we'll, we'll stick with the pin because that's what I picked up. So obviously we have an elements pin with the element of air. So you can see the clouds and then obviously the triangle with the line through to represent air. And then on the back is just a pentacle with clouds around it. That's nice, I do like that. They've gone for black and white, which is kind of interesting because whenever I think of air, I always think of blue, like a really very pale blue. So it's really interesting that they've interpreted it like that because for me, black and white would be more of a, a spirit element, but it's cool. I like what they've done. That is definitely a nice pin. I really like that. Okay, so I did happen to pick this up next. So we'll go with this. We have a very pretty Elements incense holder, which is very nice. So you can see they've inscribed the elements here. We often do get a wooden item and this is very nice. It's very big, which is good. <laughs> because I was just gonna say, because usually incense sticks are very long and so they drop, what would you call it? Like the ash. Wow, that took a long time. They dropped the ash onto just everything. My room is literally covered in incense ash. So that's nice, I really like that one. Again, like I think they've gone for this design because they've got all of the elements on here. So they've gone for the black. Otherwise, if it was just air, as I say, like I would expect it to be a different color, but because it's got all the elements on. It's interesting they've gone for a couple of items with all of the elements there in this box because we still have the earth box to go. So in a way I almost would expect the earth box to contain anything extra, but you never know, like they still might include more. Okay, let's go for our scroll with our little sticker there. And let's see, obviously this will have information on the element air. The element of air in magic. Air is the element of communication, wisdom, and intellectual matters. <laughs> and I didn't seem very intellectual today. So obviously I will do a close up for you guys because my camera just never picks it up. But it talks about different crystals associated and different herbs and plants, which is really nice. Quite a simple design, but I quite like that. That's nice. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we're going for the incense. Oh no. <laughs> Marjoram and lemongrass. Invoke the elements of air with this powerful incense blend. Light the incense and make a wish and affirm air. I send my wishes to you with total faith that they will come true. Elemental incense. Oh, that's upside down for you guys. Let's have a sniff and see if it's very lemongrassy. I'm not really familiar with the smell of marjoram, so let's have a look. She says she can't get inside. <laughs> it's very citrusy, actually. It almost reminds me of lemon sherbets. I mean, I like lemon sherbets, just like Dumbledore. Okay, I'll try burning it and I'll let you guys know what it's like because it smells really citrusy, but sometimes just because it smells like something, it doesn't mean it's gonna burn that way. Cause if you guys remember, we had the cinnamon or we had an orange one or cinnamon one, I can't remember which one it was a few months ago. And it was really different when I actually burnt it to what it smelled like when I smelt it. Okay. Oh my God, that's so cool. I've just realized what that is. Am I missing anything else? Let me just check. Oh, the crystal. Okay, let's do the crystal for the month. It looks like soda light. What have we gone for? Blue quartz, that's interesting. Why do I never guess these crystals correctly? We have blue quartz, which honestly is just really interesting. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. I got a nice piece, that's cool. Blue quartz enhances creativity and aids communication and self-expression. Blue quartz is a balancing stone which is believed to lift our mood and dispel depression. That's really cute. And then they always inscribe the element on there, so you probably can't see it. I'll do a close up for you, but they've got a little gold element there for you. That's cute, that's a nice crystal to be honest. It feels nice. Honestly, it's interesting to me. I really guessed they were going to do soda light because again, that's like throat chakra connected, but and let's face it, air signs don't shut up. So <laughs> yeah, cute. That's nice. Okay. We have a final item, which I think is lovely. It's a bit stuck. Let me get it out. Hang on. All, this, all the squishies are in there. I'm just double checking. I haven't missed anything. Oh, that's good. Okay. So we have an alter air element shelf, which is very nice. I'm only slightly gutted that it's black because I have literally just 
change my altar you guys will see that in next week's video I think I've not gone for anything that's I've gone for all, like the really light spring colors so if this was white this would have been perfect to add to my altar again like I would associate white light blue those kind of colors with air so ever so slightly gutted that I won't be able to use this but I obviously will use it when I redo my altar in the autumn because that will be like a mini me version of the really big triangle shelf I have but it's lovely I really like that they've included that and obviously you can pop your little crystal up here maybe a small candle or some more crystals there it's a bit dusty but that's really nice I like that they've included that and I think this is a good box Oh, interesting. We didn't get we didn't get a dish. That's interesting. I just realized that. Hmm. Maybe this is maybe because like you can't catch air. Maybe that's why they've included the incense thing. But then the incense thing is all of the elements. Hmm. That's interesting. Deb Ella, if you're watching, <laughs> is there a reason that we didn't get the dish? Cuz all the others we've either had like a metal or ceramic dish, which I very much love. So that's interesting. Maybe this as I say because you can't like capture air you can burn it but then that's all of them interesting but i do like this this is cute as i say if it was white i'd stick it straight on my altar or even if it was like natural wood i'd stick it straight on my altar because i've just changed it i will save this and use this in the autumn which is fine i can use it when i'm doing my autumn altar around my birthday which will be lovely that is everything let's quickly go through the cheat sheet because i always forget that which has a really cute image on the inside of the element with some petals around it which i really like so we had elemental incense burner air element curiosity display that's a nice name for it air element hanging chime i do like that as well i think maybe because you can't catch air <laughs> or like you know the only way you could have it is if you burn something like i guess what would have been really cool is to have a little chalice cup to burn incense in but obviously that probably would have been quite a lot of work to get that mm. enchanting book of elements which is lovely elemental crystal of blue quartz which i'm very excited about because i don't have any blue quartz wishing powder ritual kit now that is so much fun elemental air incense again smells like lemon sherbet could be different when I burn it so I'll let you guys know. Elemental tea blend. I will try it. I can't make any promises that I'll like it but I will try it. And the pin which I think is lovely. The magic of air art print and the element of air in magic parchment scroll. Woo! And then of course they always have their highlights at the end which are really cute. You guys are so talented. Okay so that is everything. What did you guys think of the air element? I think it was really good. I definitely wish that also was a different colour. I could paint it but it would be, I think it would be a bit of a nightmare to do that so I'll just leave it and use it when I use my bigger triangular altar shelf display I think that'll look lovely actually to have a mini me with that one so that's fine it's lovely that they've included the bells and the chimes so, oh so what's my favorite thing I think possibly I think possibly the shelves and and then the chimes I just think they're really nicely done so, or bells whatever you want to call them I think they're really nice so yeah I think this has been a good box and obviously we've only got one element box left so I'll be intrigued to see what that one holds when it comes. That one will surely have something to like hold dirt. <laughs> I just think of dirt when I think of earth. That'll be surely something to hold that and you know, like a nice cup or chalice or something would be lovely. So yeah, I'm really excited. So let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below or if you got this box, what you thought of it. And I will see you in next week's video. And dispelled the premier We often do get a wooden element with the pin with the pin of air with the element of air <laughs> wait that way around <laughs> to enhance your magical magical so it could be either art earth what's the other thing <laughs> and and well what's the other thing that you get yes <laughs> yes oh god i can't remember what you get and they also have a so the witch casket is a witch casket is a witchcraft subscription <laughs> we have a really exciting box to dive into i say i don't know i have no i have no idea what the